Our next project of the week is the Teacher Geek Projectile Launcher. You can find the information needed for the build guide and the directions at www.teachergeek.com. Once you have the Teacher Geek build guide for the projectile launcher, it will tell you exactly what Teacher Geek materials to collect and gather to be able to build a successful projectile launcher. Once you have your pieces collected, you'll also want to gather some simple tools. These are the Teacher Geek provided tools. The items you will need for this build are the screwdriver and some wire cutters. To find the directions for the projectile launcher, you'll want to visit the Teacher Geek website. That website is teachergeek.com. What I love most about this website is that it has great detail and resources for teachers. Each build that Teacher Geek has has a card on their home screen. I'm going to find the one for the projectile launcher, which is right here. If I click on this, what it will lead me to are all of the directions I need. So if I wanted to order more of the projectile launcher, I could do that through here. What you're also going to find is the age range. This particular build is really geared for 8 to 12 year olds. Here's a video. If I wanted to see the projectile launcher built, I could watch that video. And then this is the really important part for teachers. The go guide is your set of directions. You can print that in a PDF form or a Word document form. Next to the go guide, you're going to see the optional labs. As an educator, I would want to carry this further within my classroom. Here, we've built the projectile launcher. Now what do we do with it? There are three labs available, the precision and accuracy lab, the hit the target lab, and the projectile motion lab. Those documents can all be found there for printing. Then there are optional challenges, what they call the bullseye challenge and the engineering notebook pages. The engineering notebook process is vitally important when you're doing um, an activity like the projectile launcher. And so there is a simple and a full version of the engineering notebook page there, as well as additional resources, extra protractors. Um, every Teacher Geek activity has a STEAM market challenge where students would advertise for their product they've created, and then an additional link to the same engineering design challenge notebook pages. So amazing resources here. It'll tell you what tools you need, and it'll tell you what materials you need to be able to build that. And then you'll also find the NGSS standards um, at the bottom of the page. So great resource for teachers. Um, always, if you're doing any kind of Teacher Geek build, go to their website and find all the materials that you need at teachergeek.com. Following the build guide directions, you're now ready to start this projectile launcher build. You're going to begin with the whole plate and begin by screwing different pieces in to create the lever that will project the ping pong ball into the air. In the next set of directions, you're going to attach a few more pieces that will control the power and the force that the lever has when launching your ping pong ball. Once your dowel rod is in place, you can use the protractor and the inclometer to adjust the angle at which your projectile launcher launches. The final set of directions will tell you all the details about how to attach those to your projectile launcher. You can add your own personal touches to the final pieces of your projectile launcher, and you're now ready to test its strength and its accuracy.
Here are two examples of ping pong ball launcher challenges that you can complete when your build is done. The first one is an accuracy challenge where you're trying to hit the bullseye. The second one is a siege challenge where you're trying to knock down as many cups as possible.